Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can change the increments, appearance, and labeling of the timeline shown at the top of the taskbar area in the Gantt chart view. To do this, click the View tab in the ribbon, and then click the Time Scale drop-down button that appears in the Zoom button group. You can then easily select a different time scale from the increments shown in the drop-down menu. Now to see all of your timescale formatting options, select the Timescale command from the drop-down menu in order to open the Timescale dialog box. In the Timescale dialog box that appears, there are four tabs, Top Tier, Middle Tier, Bottom Tier, and Non-Working Time. Now first, you should use the Show drop-down in the Timescale Options section on either one of the first three tabs to select which timescale tiers to show within the timescale area. Now on the first three tabs, you can then set the formatting applied to the respective sections of the timescale shown. You can also set their size and check or uncheck the scale separator checkbox as preferred. So once you've decided which tiers to display, you can then click the name of the tab that corresponds to the tier that you wish to format. You can then use the Units, Label, Count, and Align drop-downs that appear at the top of the tab to apply your desired options to that selected tier in the timescale. You can also check or uncheck the additional Use Fiscal Year and Tick Lines checkboxes as desired in the same area. Next, you can click the Non-Working Time tab within the Timescale dialog box in order to set the appearance of non-working time in your view. You can select the desired option for the display of the non-working time from the choices that are shown in the Draw section. Next, you can select the desired color, pattern, and calendar to use for the display of non-working time. Once you've made whatever changes to the display of the time scale within the view that you wish to apply, simply click the OK button in the time scale dialog box to apply the changes to your view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.